Hello there, signs of Aries. This is going to be your April 9th to the 16th um, tarot reading. I apologize for not being here for last week's readings. It was kind of a hectic week. Nevertheless, we're going to get right into this. I'm going to try a different spread this week. Let me know how you like it. We're just going to pull some cards. I must have that whole deck upside down. I'll fix it later. Oh, what is this? We've got some kind of union coming in. All right. We're going to look into this further in a minute. All right, so we've got the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Moon, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Tower. And we have the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, let's just tap into this a little bit. Okay, so for many of you, there's some kind of relationship going on that's rocky, that you're not sure, you're just not sure. You're not sure if you should put more energy into it, you're not sure if this is ever going to work, but Spirit is saying that you are going to get that leg up. I know that you're worried you're never going to get a leg up in this. Um, I can see that there's been a lot of struggle. There's been a lot of tension. A lot of dickering. Looking at different options. Maybe both of you looking at different options. There's definitely some things that are hidden from you. And some type of tower event that's happened in your present life so I'm gonna get some clarifiers here I'm gonna pull a couple of these too new beginnings and memories of love You have lots of sevens here, too. Sevens may be significant to some of you. All right, so first I want to clarify the moon. Clarify the moon, please, Spirit. Spirit is saying for you to just breathe, though. Breathe and trust that this is going to work out the way it's supposed to. Um, also, for some of you, you may need to clear and open up your sacral chakra okay so what you don't see coming with the moon is that you're going to get that recognition that you deserve I'm hearing somebody's going to see that you were right now as for the tower <coughs> excuse me we have the seven of swords so you literally have all four sevens on the table now um, Seven of Swords is not always about lying, cheating, stealing, thievery type energy. Somebody working against you behind your back. Sometimes this can be you actually working very strategically to remove the weapons um, of the opponent so that there can't be any, you know, bloodshed, so to speak. Um, and I feel like that's the case here. I feel like you're the one removing all of the... Um, weapons for lack of a better word I mean it's not physical weapons but 
you know what I'm saying. Like you're you're diligently removing all of the um, opportunities for someone to hurt you further, use anything against you. Um. Now with the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles speaks of you being very generous, someone else being very generous, um, and then to clarify, you have the Eight of Cups, so I feel like you're feeling like you've been giving, 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 and you're not getting your cups filled, you're not getting your fair share in return. I can really see the struggle that you're having right now in this relationship. So, I'm actually going to pull some more cards. I want to use these cards, though. I'm going to pull some more cards for some advice on this. Because I don't like it when we're just stuck in the energy of where you are. I, I want to do tarot that helps you see where you're going, you know? And there you go. And I said, see where you're going. And it's the Ten of Wands. Packing your bags. Moving on. Ready for something new. And even with this Queen of Swords. I mean, she's sitting there contemplating where can she go. I wish there wasn't such a bad glare on this card. I think that's better. She's looking about... Looking out there at, at where she can go. You've got the Six of Cups again. And the Nine of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck you have the High Priestess. This is... This is God saying that you can do this. You can manifest whatever it is that you want. And I know you have some kind of an attachment to this person, probably from childhood, maybe even um, past life energy. And for some of you, this could even be like a, a parent um, rather than a romantic relationship where you're just not feeling satisfied in whatever kind of connection is happening there. But I do feel like in this next week, you're really going to be weighing your options of where to go. And some of you may actually be relocating, physically relocating um, to get away from this heartbreak. And to find your own true north, I'm hearing. Because this relationship isn't everything that you thought it was going to be. Um, and maybe this person was providing financially for you even. I'm feeling that... Um, yeah, this was definitely someone who offered financial support to you in some way. But now you're just looking at how you can move forward on your own. <clears throat> and in this next week, you definitely are getting that leg up and going to be able to breathe. Okay, I want you to remember that all is not lost. Um, even if this relationship isn't working out for you. And again, I want to emphasize to you to exercise um, opening up that sacral chakra. That's your sixth chakra or technically your second because you start at the bottom, work your way up. But if you count from the top down, it's the sixth one. Um, a lot of people actually don't know which direction to go with those, you know, and that's okay. That's why I give you both numbers. But, um, there is a reconciliation offer on the table for you, um, and there is a way to move forward with this relationship, 
in a more harmonious way, but it's going to take work on both people's part. And so my best advice to you is that if you don't truly feel like they're capable of keeping their word and doing their part, then I would advise you to go ahead and move on for now and do what is best for you, what's going to fill your heart and your soul with joy and contentment and let them do their own work and their own take their own journey until they're ready to um, come back around because anything that's meant for you will never leave you completely anyway. Um, I, that's a true testament that I can, it's, I can, I can attest to that. You know, it's um, not just a cliche phrase that sounds nice. Um, I want to pull some of my 111 cards for you that Spirit and I made together. I feel like you need this extra bit of advice and guidance right now. Okay, so the first thing is for you to acknowledge that you've really come a long way and to not forget that. And to limit yourself is to limit the maker. So don't don't feel like um, you have limits because you don't. The sky really isn't even the limit. And it's all about mind over matter. I mean, I'm literally pulling these cards for you. Oh my God, I hate this glare. Here, can you see that now? Mind over matter. And rejection is God's protection. So, again, anything that's meant for you will never completely pass you by. And anything that isn't meant for you isn't meant to bring you peace and calm because then you would stay in it and it isn't something that's meant for you. Okay? So, lots of decisions to make this week. Big decisions, big life-changing decisions maybe. Um... You know, some of you are possibly moving on, physically moving, and um, I want you to walk in your faith that Spirit or God, Jesus, however you look at it, is with you. Your angels and guides are with you. You're protected, and you're being guided in the right direction that you belong in, okay? You're finding your true north, and that's what's the most important thing. So you be brave, and you be proud. Of how far you've come. And you keep your head up. And you walk in faith this week. Because I think that. Everything is going to work out really perfect for you. As long as you can do that. Just don't look back. And have those regrets. You know we've got to. we got to heal that. And open up that sacral chakra. And if you don't know how to do that. Reach out to me and I will help you. Um, you know I don't always charge for. My information. And my assistance to people. So send me an email. It'll be in the link below. I'll be glad to help you. Okay? All right. Until next time, be well and be blessed in love and light, Aries. <laughs>